Hey guys, it's great to see you. Today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on something I get asked lots about and that is how to change the driver model on a set of Corsa. So obviously you get the standard kind of driver models with the helmets on, but here on these Suzuki Swifts as we thunder around the Neuschleife, you'll see some of the models don't have helmets on. I'm going to show you how to do that today on any car. There is lots more sim racing on the channel, so do check that out. And I am running the Patreon version 1.75 CSP here. Do check that out on the channel too. Also, today's video is sponsored by Acer Predator and the Predator Sim Racing Cup 2021. And later in the video, I'm going to show you all how you can enter and race against the pros. Here we are then, the Suzuki Sport 4-door 2007. One of my sons has this car, so I thought I'd put it in the video. Looking fantastic. But we've got a driver with a helmet on, so how do we change it? Well, the first thing you need to do is go into Content Manager and make sure that you're in Developer Mode. Now, this is really easy to do. Just click on the About at the top. And where the number is that I'm hovering over at the moment on the left-hand side, click that 10 times. And a box will come up to say, do you want to go into Developer Mode? You just say yes, and that's it. It just gives you some more options, and we need those options for what we're going to do today. Now we're back on the main drive screen, we can see the Suzuki Swift in the top left, that's selected. And we can also see the skin underneath it, the red pearl. So we're actually going to add the driver to that particular skin. And that's how this works. So the first thing to do then is to go into content. And in content, you can see you've got cars, tracks, miscellaneous, mods, tools, and get new mods along the top. These all give you various parts of information of what's installed on your Assetto Corsa. The one we're interested in is miscellaneous. And if you look under miscellaneous, you will see you've got different headings there. The one that we're interested in is driver models, and that's the one I've got selected here. But for instance, if I was to click on weather, it shows a number of JPEGs there that it's actually going to use for the weather formations in Sol. But clicking back to new driver, you can see this first driver here that I've got selected is a Kunos driver. Now, the way that you can see what driver it is, is you click on CM showroom at the bottom, all of a sudden, with your mouse, you can move the driver around and you can see exactly how the driver would look in the car. And we've all seen these drivers many, many times. But many of you may not know how many different drivers there are. Every time you install a mod, there's a chance that there's going to be a different kind of driver installed. So you can see down here, I've got a number of drivers that have actually been installed from previous mods I've installed. So for instance, this driver 23, if I click on that, this is a driver from the 1923 cars that I've downloaded in one of my videos. Um, the Fiat cars and the Bugatti. And these are all actually vintage cars. And you can see there we've got a vintage driver. Now we could put that driver in any different car in a set of Corsa. And that's what I'm going to show you how to do. But let's have a look at through some of the other drivers. So you can see here this is a 1970s driver. The helmet's very different. And you've got the flame retardant balaclava underneath there. The next driver I'm going to show you is the one that we're going to use and this is this driver no helmet here. So let's take a look at it in the showroom and as you can see this handsome fellow here, I don't know whose face it is but he's very famous obviously, um, we're going to put him in the Suzuki Swift. So you can see the rest of the model looks very similar but the face is different. Next up I'm going to show you how to add the config file to put that onto your skin but before that we've got the Predator Cup 2021. So guys, are you ready for the amazing Assetto Corsa Sim Racing event of 2021? And that is the Acer Predator Sim Racing Cup. So you can register with the link in the description below and you can compete against pro drivers including Roman Grosjean's R8G Sim Racing team. You can win prizes as you climb the ranks including these awesome Predator AMD laptops, mice, headsets and gaming PCs. What are you waiting for guys? Click on the link in the description below. And the closing date for entries is the 14th of May. That is going to be one great competition with some fantastic prizes on offer. The next thing to do then is just to open a new notepad file. So we've just right clicked on our desktop and a new notepad file. And what we're going to do is, and I am going to put this in the description below, we're just going to paste the following in. And that is driver 3D model at the top. It needs to be exactly as it's written here. You can see it's got name equals and the driver, driver underscore 60 in this case, and the position where they're going to be in the car. Now what we're going to do is we're going to change the name there to driver underscore no underscore helmet, as we can see on the left hand side there. So it's all very simple. Once we've done that, we're just going to file and we're going to save. Now the next thing to do is we need to actually save this as an INI file or an INI file. Now that might sound complicated, but it's actually very, very simple. 
all we need to do is right click on this notepad we're going to rename it and we're going to take everything out of that box there and we're just going to put the following in there we're going to put ext underscore config dot ini and again i will put this into the description below when you click on enter windows is going to say are you sure you want to do this because it's actually telling windows to treat this file differently we're just going to say yes and as you can see it's changed the file there it's got a little cog next to it that tells it that it's a config file or an ini file for a program the next thing to do now that is done is to go back onto drive and to find our suzuki swift which is just here now because we've gone into developer mode we can click the little mechanical piece at the bottom there and this gives you all sorts of different information and if you've watched any of my other videos um, on the channel you'll see that I use this quite often for modding different cars you've got all these different options at the bottom but the one we're going to use for this is the really simple one and that is just a folder this just brings up where that car is actually installed now remember we're on the red car at the moment the red skin so what we need to do is go into skins here and double click there and you will see that we've got the red skin just there so we just double click that and you'll see that there's some config files already in here that basically say what color it is how the skin works etc literally all we're going to do is we're just going to move this config file into there so move and that's it we're not overwriting anything because we're giving it an extra config to do so we've done that and we're going to close that and that is literally it it is done so let's check out what it looks like just by adding that one simple config file then, we have actually installed a completely different driver just on this skin. All of the other skins will still have their original drivers on, so you can change those individually also. But I would suggest just to do a little bit of experimentation with this and to see what drivers you've got installed on your content manager. I hope that's going to help you guys mod the cars how you want them to look in a set of Corsa. Thank you so much for watching guys, it's great to see you today. Do remember to check out the Ace of Predator Cup 2021, the link is below. Closing date is May the 14th. Stay safe and I'll see you very soon.